So, you've just completed your keyboard build, but one or more keys are not working. Hopefully in this video I'll help you locate the issue on your PCB or microcontroller. This keyboard is wired in a matrix with diodes. If instead you have a direct pin keyboard which doesn't have any diodes, skip ahead to the direct pin section using the YouTube chapters. First of all, double check your firmware to see what the malfunctioning key should do. For this example I'll pretend that my F key is not working. Now we'll take a look at the schematic of the device. If you can't find it by googling or on GitHub, I recommend asking for it on a Discord community server or messaging the author of the device. When you have it ready, we can move to the next step. Let's identify the position of the F key in the matrix. As you can see, the schematic usually mimics the physical layout, so we can simply count the switches to find our key. Here, the F key corresponds to the sixth key of row 2. And here it is, labeled MX20. You should see two dots at the end of the switch. Those are showing you where it's wired. By simply following the lines, we can see that this switch corresponds to column 5, row number 2. Finally, let's look where those end up on the microcontroller. In this case, they are pin E6 and F6. Take note of these, as we'll need them in the next step. If you have socketed your microcontroller, you should remove it from the PCB to test it by itself, but don't worry if you can't remove it, as you can still follow these instructions. Pry up gently from both sides until you remove it from the sockets. Connect the microcontroller to your PC and open up a keyboard testing website or any text editor. I'll leave a link to the one I'm using in the video description. Locate the pins we identified in the schematic, in my case E6 and F6. Then close the connection between them using some metal tweezers or any other metal object you prefer. A paper clip could work too. When you make the connection, your PC should receive a key input depending on the firmware that you flashed on the microcontroller. For me it's the F key, and you'll see it appear on the testing website. If this is the case, then the issue with your key is located on the keyboard PCB itself. Check for shorter pads on your PCB and try reflowing the solder of the problematic switch or replace it. If instead your PC does not receive the input, it could mean that you closed the connection between the wrong pins, that your firmware is not working correctly, or that your microcontroller is damaged. Let's now take a look at a direct pin keyboard, and again we'll pretend that my F key is not working. The first step is to double check on my firmware that the key I'm pressing actually corresponds to the letter F, and it looks like it is, so we can move to the next step. Once again, find the schematic of the device, either by googling for it, by downloading it from the keyboard's GitHub page, by asking in a Discord community, or by messaging the author. When you have it open, locate the switch by comparing the layout to your physical device. In this case, my F key corresponds to the switch labeled SW11. This is actually a bit misleading, because as you can see, the connection is named switch 9, and that is what we should be looking for. The other connection will always be ground. Now we need to locate the same switch number on the microcontroller. And here it is, labeled B6. If your microcontroller is socketed, now it's a good time to remove it, by gently prying up from both sides with equal force. Go ahead and connect it to your PC. Next, open up a keyboard testing website or a text editor. Check the video description for the one I'm using. Finally, locate the pin we found in the previous step and connect it to any ground pin using metal tweezers or a paper clip. You should be able to see the activated key on the website. If this is the case, then the issue with your key is located on the keyboard PCB itself. Check for shorter pads on your PCB and try reflowing the solder of the problematic switch or replace it. If instead your PC does not receive the input, it could mean that you closed the connection between the wrong pins, that your firmware is not working correctly, or that your microcontroller is damaged. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.